The second order conditions in a constrained optimization problem are easier to remember as the determinant of second order partial derivatives matrix of the Lagrangian. To construct this matrix, first differentiate the Lagrangian with respect to lambda and fill the first row with it. Then differentiate the Lagrangian with respect to x1 and put it in the second row entries. And the derivative with respect to x2 fills the third row. Next, differentiate the first column with respect to lambda, the second column with respect to x1, and the third column with respect to x2. Voila! The second order partial derivatives matrix is called Hessian. After German mathematician Otto Hess. Hessian looks more complicated than it actually is. If we look closer, we'll notice that in microeconomics problems, the first entry is always zero. Also, row 1, column 2, and row 2, column 1 equal P1. And row 1, column 3, and row 3, column 1 equal P2. If we expand the determinant, we get the same inequality as before. But where does this inequality come from?